And um, just real quick, before the video actually starts, for everybody who's gonna be in the comments saying these companies release clippers too much, no one has the money or wants to spend all this on clippers and a little secret. Just a little secret. You don't have to. You do not have to buy any new trimmer or any new clipper or any new shaver that comes out. These companies are just releasing products for your use and pleasure. Hell yeah. Yo, Cuss by Reggie, back with another video. Today we have a uh, review of a new product or a coming soon product very soon though um if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe comment like share dislike all the good stuff that comes along with being on youtube right so uh like we always say and we always notice there are uh companies barber companies that are trying to make the best trimmer the best clipper the best shaver which makes sense this is our industry so today with that being talked about we have the new flex trimmers coming from stylecraft starting with the release date the release date of this is april i don't even know if there's a date they'll be shipping out april early april maybe late march depending on when they when they feel like uh dropping them on us right so this is the flex price wise 149.95 right and i know i like to say how long did it take to get they actually sent this to me shout out to stylecraft uh for uh thank you for getting this to me right now they are on the pre-order right now and i've talked about this before i'm not a fan of the pre-ordering but i do kind of understand it i'm not a fan of it but okay but they are on the pre-order system at the moment 149.95 of course use my discount code save you some money right yeah so pre-order use my discount code cuz by ready to save you some money boom let's get into it though let's get into the new flex trimmer from stylecraft this is a different body style too uh 7500 rpm super torque motor three hours of runtime uh does come with a charging stand uh skeleton design of course that's all all the trimmers if you're not designing your trimmer with some type of skeleton 360 view that the the world is kind of gravitating to it's kind of i don't want to say you're doing yourself a disservice because somebody still will buy them maybe but that 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 skeleton view that started with I'm guessing when they started cutting up the the Andes T outliners, nice, right? Um, come with the fixed gold blade, and it does come with the one cutting blade, the DLC Deep Tooth Cutting Blade, uh, 7500 RPM, fully adjustable to zero, uh, you know, to zero gap it. Includes nine different color options. We'll get into that in a second. Lithium ion battery again. Third, uh, three hours of runtime on a 90 minute charge. Awesome. Uh, but uh, my ball, let's get into it. So, so I have been using it, so everything is not in here, right? But fresh out the package, you do get the charging stand, you do get the different color lids that come with um, mostly everything from Stylecraft and Gamma. And up under here, you do get the, the USB, the micro USB cable, the uh, screwdriver, the guards that I actually might try. I might, I might use, I'm not gonna use them. I'm not gonna use them. The guards, pamphlet, and then of course you get the cable that hooks into either the charging stand or the bottom of this and then the micro usb connects to the back all right so now that we got what comes in the box this is the design of the clipper if y'all can see that can y'all see voila very small there's the gold blade that it come well 
Take that back. This is the gold blade that it comes with. I swapped it out for my uh, my saber, but it's actually, <clears throat> they're actually pretty much the same blade. This is just a wider version, which I do enjoy the, the wider version more, especially on this smaller body. It, it seems like the teeth gives me more, more room to move around with, but both blades are good, right? But it does come with this blade. Also the one, the one blade or the one, yeah, the one deep tooth cutting blade also comes on that as well. But yeah, so that's the design. Power button here, nice LED uh, indicator. So these do indicate when the battery is dying. It goes one and it, it just starts to go down. Put it on a charger, kind of have a animation of it ch charging up. And then once it stops blinking, it's fully charged. Look like I need to wipe my lens off real quick. Let's see. <clears throat> Maybe that's a little bit better, but that is the look. Boom. So once it starts dying, it goes down a little bit at a time. This does keep it pa its its power the whole time that it is that it is going, which some people like. Some people think it's a good thing, and I understand why a clipper company would keep that same power throughout the whole runtime so you can still have that same power throughout the runtime me personally and and it is what it is i like my mind to just feel like i like to be able to feel it because now this indicator is a little bit bigger than some of the other indicators that are on smaller uh or other clippers where it's just a dot down here but uh once it starts dying you kind of you kind of know where you where you're going you, you, it's over with right anyway back to the design small very nice in your hand this is a little bit slimmer when you are uh, looking at the the sabers so i do like that but we're gonna so it does come with different uh, different face plates, right? <clears throat> but the difference about these is you can kind of do a combination of the two, right? So let's just let's kind of do that real quick. So that's the difference from um other trimmers and clippers from Stylecraft or you know, gamma, you know what I mean? Because you can kind of mix and match the colors. If I can, come on, come on, there we go. But you can mix and match the colors of your trimmer. And then of course you can, you can swap the pink with the blue and all that good stuff, right? But either way, because all that is cute, it's nice. It's, it's, it's cool to look at, right? But no one, a lot of people don't even, and I usually don't. If y'all have been following my channel for a while, I usually don't even change the face plates or anything of my clippers or trimmers, right? So the question is, how do they perform? Fresh out the box with the, the smaller blade. Nice, right? Goes through bulk very well. Um, uh give crisp lines all that good stuff and i can see people i can see certain people not even needing to zero gap them at all right but me being me after i used them like that i did gap them a little bit now i got them a little too close at first but once i got it situated when i say the lines were like right on point still gliding through bulk um this is the body style of it would make me choose it over at the moment. I'm not going to say it's better than the Sabre, but it will let me choose it over the Sabre or even the Instinct. Just the body style over it. It's slimmer. Um, it fits in your hand very well when you're going around curves and stuff like that. But look, when I switch to, to this blade, now, overall, the blades are the same. But it's just that that slim body 
with that wider blade on it, helping you go around curves, up under mustaches and stuff like that. This has been the best trimmer that I have used. And look, I, I've said that about the Sabres. I was not too big on the Instincts. I think the Instincts had a little too much power. I do think this cut, in my personal opinion, and in my personal use, I think this does cut better than the Instinct, the Instinct trimmer. I think the Instinct had too much power. It's too much trying to push. And every time that, or certain times that I would use it, it's like sometimes I would get some nice lines, but then other times it just would move the hair. It's just too much vibration, right? But then when you go to the Sabres, it cuts. Not that it didn't cut, it just didn't have enough push. Like, and sometimes it just didn't have that power in it. With these, you got the power, you got the push, and then you got that one blade, that cutting blade, that deep tooth cutting blade on it. It's beautiful. And since I have said that, if you never, and again, if you don't need a trimmer, if you're not looking to buy stuff from Stylecraft, if you think it is overpriced, all that good stuff, don't buy it. If you got too many trimmers, don't buy it. If you, if you listen to me on anything, if you are in the need of a trimmer, if you want to try a trimmer out, you are who I'm talking to. Get the Stylecraft Flex. The Sabre is cool and it's there. You can get it if you want. And the, the, the Instinct is there. I don't really think you should buy the Instinct as far as the clipper. That's like my favorite clipper right now. But as far as the, 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 the trimmer, I don't think you should really rush to that either way. You can. It's cool. It's not my cup of tea. This slim body of this Flex, it goes around curves. It holds in your hand nice. Excuse me. It's small. Like, it's just, it just, it fits me. So if you listen to anything I've said, if you want to say, what is the one trimmer cuts by Reggie? What is the one trimmer Reggie would say everybody should try? It's the Flex. It's definitely the Flex. They sent me this, but I like the Flex. So I pre-ordered another one because at this moment, and I may do a comparison video between this and the Sabre. And if y'all like to see that, leave it in the comments. I may do that. But as of right now, I will be choosing this over the Sabre. My personal opinion. Oh, and if you, I mean, they all use the same charging stands anyway. But this fits in the Sabre charging stand. If you just need, you know, one charging stand, the Sabre does not fit in the the flex but you know due to the body style but anyway all in all is it worth to buy 100 percent 100 percent three hours of run time uh 90 minute charge time uh nice little body style not too loud giving crispy lines great through bulk it's, it's, it's like it got the, the right amount of torque. It's not too much. It's not too little. I like that they didn't keep with the, the Instinct's RPM of that 11,000 RPM or 9,000, whatever it is. I like that they dial it back. 7,500 RPM. Maybe it's around 72 with you. But I like that set. The torque of the, mo the motor is, is, is nice. It's set, right? I love it. And this is just my personal opinion. This is my uh, my my use of it. And my use of it, I think if you're looking to buy trimmer, you should get the Flex. All right? That's just me. I know, I know, I know I've said buy other stuff. And, and, and when I say buy other trimmers and stuff or don't buy, it's just really, is it worth it? And yes, it's worth it. I think this though, I think if you give it a go, you really set your, your, your blade, which I don't think a lot of people will need to set them, but if you get your blade right, these gonna these gonna be this gonna be your ones to go to. My person, I think so. I'm gonna quit saying my personal opinion. I think you'll like it too. I think it'll be your personal opinion as well. 
If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, dislike. Use my discount code. They are they are available for pre-order. I'm not saying don't buy the saber, but I am saying you don't need to worry about the instinct. I don't think you should. So either get the saber or get the flex. Peace.